2014 Ford Escape Titanium. This one is a pretty much fully loaded four-wheel drive model. As you can see, it's finished off in a beautiful pearlescent white exterior, which looks great on the vehicle. Outside, you do have your tinted rear privacy glass on the Titanium, as well as your body colored door handles with intelligent entry built in, body colored mirrors, which also are heated, and in typical Ford fashion, you have your keyless entry keypad built into the door. Up top, panoramic roof. You can also see your roof rails up above. As well as on the driver's side, this one does have door edge guards installed on it. And you can see some accenting up there. And around the rear of this Escape, you can see your Escape, and then titanium EcoBoost four-wheel drive badges right there. Dual exhaust down below, and this one is equipped with a rear backup camera, as well as a power trunk, just press twice. And just like that, it will release. And press twice again to bring it back down. Fuel cap is on the passenger side. In typical Ford fashion, it is the capless easy fuel system. Down below, this one is riding on Firestone Firehawk AS tires. They are 23550R18s. So you have 18 inch alloy wheels on the titanium rear disc brakes, of course. around this side everything follows through some chrome accenting on your belt line as well as your door edge guards on this side and keyless entry and up front you can see the halogen headlights some chrome accenting and then your fog lights down below go ahead and get in this one does include remote start make sure it's locked press twice on the key and just like that it does start up on the key itself too you have lock unlock trunk releases I showed and panic but we'll go ahead Get inside of this one. Keyless entry, just walk up to the door, grab, and it will unlock, and then touch right there to lock. Also, typical Ford fashion with the keyless entry keypad, if you press the last two together, it will also lock the vehicle. Inside, you can see this one does have the beige leather interior, which honestly, for the miles, is in incredibly good shape in this car. Down below, do have a full power driver seat in this one right there. Go ahead and start it, put on the brake, and just press. And just close the door. Have the key fob inside the vehicle, and you're all good to go. Inside, this one does have a leather wrapped steering wheel in the titanium. Nice and light power steering. On the wheel itself, your cruise controls, as well as your audio system controls up here. This control will coincide with that display, which I'll get to in a minute. Then, like I said, your Bluetooth phone controls and cruise control on the bottom. On the door, in the titanium, it's all soft padded material up top. Nice and high quality. You have more padded leather around here, as well as all four of your power windows. In the titanium, they are automatic all the way around as well. All of that, power mirrors, and then your power locks up top, as well as your power driver's seat memory. Storage down below, your headlight controls over here, which they are automatic then press for fog lights, gauge dimmer, and then in typical Ford fashion, when you click it all the way up, it will turn uh, all of your interior illumination on. Vents up there with some trim around them. And the dashboard itself and the titanium is all nice, soft touch material all the way around. In the center, you can see your gauges, tachometer, speedometer, and then your fuel and engine temperature gauge. In the center of this display, you can bring up all kinds of different options, trip computer, things like that. And you can see, this one does have 138,000 miles on it, but it honestly is in fantastic shape inside and out, and it drives just like a brand new car. In the center, two air vents. You can open and close them up there. You have your CD player up top and your Sync by Microsoft badge. In the center, this one is equipped with the typical My4 Touch system. So right here, you can see we have your Bluetooth up top. This one does not have navigation installed at the moment, but I believe all you need is an SD card to install it. So this will just act as a compass, and then you do have the sync services nav at the moment. Down below, your climate controls, dual zone automatic, of course. And then right here is your audio system. AM, FM, CD, auxiliary in, uh, satellite radio, Bluetooth, all of that. And this one does have the Sony audio system, which sounds fantastic.
very nice, simple to use as well. You have your sources, sound, eject, and power, as well as your lock right here. This will let you know if all the doors are locked or unlocked. Hazard controls as well. Right here, you can see your engine start stop button and some more of the piano trim around the center. Dual zone automatic climate control back here. Zone for the passenger, as well as your zone for the driver. Different fan controls, everything else, your defrost. And like I said, like everything else in here, it's very simple to use. Your passenger airbag indicator, rear defrost, as well as trunk release. And this one is equipped with Ford's six speed automatic drive, sport, and you can use the manual mode right there. Reverse is equipped with a rear backup camera, as well as you do have your rear parking sensors as well. Down here, 12 volt outlet, as well as your heated seats for the driver and passenger, which they are five stage, which is actually very nice. As you can see, you can control them by right there. Two cup holders back here and all of that. Around here too, like I said, it's more of the piano trim. Parking brake, and then back here, you have a padded armrest. Storage inside of there, your USB, auxiliary in, another power outlet, and even AV in. Seats in this vehicle are very comfortable, nice, high quality leather, and they have held up fantastic for the miles this one has too. Up top, you have your sunglasses container right there, as well as some of your ambient lighting controls and your sunroof controls. You can one touch uh, send the shade all the way back. It will stop at a normal position and then press it again, and we'll go all the way back. Very nice. You can see that lets in a very nice amount of natural light. Pfizer, your vanity mirror built in, and this will also slide to the side and extend. Built in as well, you do have your garage home link right there. Handles and your interior lighting controls on the side. I mean, overall, this interior really is a fantastic place to be. Go ahead and step out, unlock all the doors, and you can see a little bit of the ambient lighting I was talking about. You can even change the colors and everything like that. It is kind of up inside of there. Up the hood. And you also do have your OBD pan uh, port behind this panel. Stepping into the rear seat of this Escape, everything follows through on the door, material quality wise, you'd get a padded armrest back here. The seats do fold down, just make sure the headrest is dropped, and they will fold completely flat, just like that. That's stepping in. I am six foot two, and the seat is a bit further back than I would sit, but I can still fit back here fine. Plenty of space. You have two air vents in the middle, as well as back seat pockets. On each side, you can see more of what I was talking about with the ambient lighting below as well. In the center, you get an armrest, the two cup holders right there, and the headrest, as I showed, do fold down for visibility. On the side, more of your interior lighting controls. And everything follows through over here. Same goes for the interior lighting. Inside of the trunk, just go ahead and open it right here. And inside, you have a fantastic amount of space. This one does include all of your carpeted floor mats as well. You can see your rear floor mats right there. On the side, subwoofer for your audio system. So you have different tie downs, things like that. Right here's where your cargo cover can go. Behind here, behind here is your fuse panel. And then underneath of everything, you do have your spare tire. I believe that's the amp for your audio system. So there's plenty of storage, your jack tools and all of that. Go ahead and close it. Back seat from this side, everything follows through can fold it as well from right there. And up front, you do have a manual passenger seat in this one. As well as inside the glove box. This one does include all of your owner's literature, everything else of that nature inside of here. 
state inspection certificate. And up front, you can see the halogen headlights, fog lights down below. And then under the hood, this one is equipped with the top of the line engine for the time on the Escape. This is the 2 liter EcoBoost 4 cylinder, which with all wheel drive and this tiny platform, this is more than enough power. And also, still being a turbo 4 cylinder, you will get fantastic gas mileage. As you can see, everything under here is nice and clean. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up and just cut the vehicle off right here. Move the key and it will chime, remind you to put the lights back into auto mode. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.